Welcome to Jewels of the Trade, the channel for spreading accurate information on jade and gemstones. I'm here with Chris Mason, co-owner and jewelry designer of Mason K Jade, the leading supplier of natural jadeite jade jewelry in the United States. And today we're going to be talking about jade bangle styles, sizing and care. And at the end, we'll even go over how to size your hand for a bangle and what to do if you can't get your bangle off. Welcome, Chris. Hi there. Hi, Jordan. I'm all covered in bangles. I got my bangles on, two of my favorites. That's a smooth and a carved rubbing together, and it still has a nice little jingle. That's the magic of jade. It I'm is. I'm all about it. So let's talk about solid bangles versus hinge and clasp. What yes. does a customer need to know if they're trying to decide between the two? It's all about size. There might be a color that somebody's looking for, but really, size is the number one key ingredient to your bangles. And that is why we call Jade Bangles Cinderella pieces, because they have to fit just right. Just right. What does that mean? The bangle has to slide over your knuckles, right? All the way over the knuckles onto your wrist. So the question is, once you get it on, is it too big for your wrist? How much can you squish your hand so that you can get it on? How often do you plan to take it on and off? Do you plan on leaving it on for months, years at a time? Then that's a different story. Then the struggle might be worth for a little smaller bangle. I don't want the struggle. I wear about a 62 millimeter bangle. So that means it's 62 millimeters inside diameter from one side to the other. That's what I know fits me. And I can get it on, but the solid bangle is one piece as opposed to the hinge and clasp, which has been cut in half and a gold hinge and clasp, we only used gold on our hinge and clasp, is set to open and it opens. So you can just slide your hand in and you don't have to worry about the knuckles and any pain and any of that. And you can also get a smaller bangle for your wrist and not worry about it sliding over. I would say in the West, Bangle sizes tend to run a little larger, and so the hinging clasp gives, I, I guess, the American market more options than they would have otherwise. Is that is that right, Chris? That is true. And the Asian market, you know, this is this is a special piece of one piece bangle, and it's a symbol of love and their protection. It's a great gift. However, you got to know the right size. But with a hinge and clasp, you don't. It's much easier to give it as a gift. You don't have to worry as much about the size. Does size still matter though with a hinge and clasp bangle? Is it more about knowing a range of sizes that will work for you? It does, because you still don't want a bangle that's too large and could still fall off your hand. You know, the hinge and clasp is also really great for people that have had an injury or have arthritis and just can't get the bangle on and don't want to maybe deal with the pain of it. Oh, I just whacked my bangle. Oh, it's just fine. And it didn't break. No, <laughs> it should not. It should not. <laughs> Always natural jade. Jordan, you know. Absolutely. We don't don't treated. get treated, Jade. Don't. And certainly not for a bangle. That's certainly something you oh, absolutely yeah. wouldn't want treated, Jade. If you, you really want something that has extraordinarily fine color and you know it's treated and you're going to wear it as a ring or earrings, sure, as long as it's been disclosed. However, yes. especially with a bangle, because you're going to hit it, then it, it really could just crack. It just does not have the same structure once the jade has been treated. Bangles are so tough when people tell me, oh, my jade bangle broke easily. Nine times out of 10, at least, it turns out that it was a treated jade bangle. It wasn't natural yes. and that's why it broke. So carved bangles versus non-carved bangles bangles. Does the carving affect the price of the bangle? Does it affect the durability of the bangle? There are surface carvings and then there are pierced carvings. So the, the image that you're showing next to the lavender bangle, the lavender one is a surface carving. It is not pierced, whereas the green one is pierced. Why is jade carved anyway? Jade is carved because they're carving away ugly colors, impurities, fractures. So that's why jade is carved to begin with. Otherwise, they would, the cutters would prefer to leave it smooth. I would be very careful when buying a carved bangle. We are very careful and we really scrutinize them. We look for any internal fractures, anything that really would hinder the structure of the bangle. Be careful. Make sure to buy from reputable sources. Make sure that your jade is natural and to make sure people like us have 
of check them through for cracks and fractures and that type of thing. In terms of value, it doesn't necessarily affect the value because it really has more to do with the quality of the jade. Natural jade is so rare. Are there certain colors or styles of bangles that are harder to get than others? Red and yellow tend to be around the outside of the rock, the jade rock that is found. And because of the oxidation, it's more red and then yellow. And often it's a thin layer around the edge. And therefore there's not a lot of material. You tend to see especially finer yellow and finer red, especially in small beads and small cabs. You rarely see a fine red solid bangle. That is very unusual. Yellow as well. And because there just is not, you know, there may be a lot of material going around, but not enough to cut a bangle. We actually see a lot of the gray and black jade bangles, and those tend to be more affordable, wouldn't you say? Yes, it's a type of material that's found in larger quantities. And it has a secret. It's really dark, dark, dark green. If you shine a light through it, the edges glow kind Black of green. Black is actually green. Chris, what is your advice for a customer who is shopping for a bangle and needs to know their bangle size? Jordan, we have a great page all dedicated to bangle sizing. We're including the link in the description below. So what is the trick that every bangle wearer should know about removing a tight bangle? When in doubt, take off your sensitive jewelry over your bed. You can always lay um, a towel or a washcloth in your sink as well. Just be very, very careful. Now, if you're stuck, there's always oil, there's always lotion. The two big tricks in the jewelry industry are Windex and a simple plastic bag. I know we're trying to get rid of the plastic bags, but hang on to one, if nothing else, just for your jade Reuse bangles. Reuse it. <laughs> Reuse it every time. So no. what should a customer do? Let's say something happens and their jade bangle does break what can they do so they can keep wearing it? Right, so it depends on whether there's a full break or just a fracture. Often it's just a fracture. Now, depending on how many fractures and where they are, sometimes it actually does work out where the fractures are actually somewhat across from each other. So if I take my bangle off, there we go. They're, they can be somewhat across from each other. That's when the bangle could be cut and a hinge and clasp can be placed on it and then it can open and you can still continue to wear it. If it's just a fracture and you don't need it, you know, cut and hinge, a gold band can be placed around it. That'll oh, and it's beautiful. The jade first. And a so you can make it really beautiful yeah. and very attractive. I think that it's actually a great option. And that's usually something a local jeweler can do. Yes. Chris, if somebody doesn't have a local jeweler who can do it, can they send it to you? They can send it to us. We we don't always work on everybody's bangles. We're very careful. We will only work on natural jade. So your jade would have to be tested first by us to make sure that it's natural. And then of course we'd give you a quote. The piece has does have to go overseas to the best jewelers um, in our shop. So it can take a little time, but if you love your bangle, it'll certainly be worth it. Um, if your bangle really breaks, breaks into pieces and it is natural jade, you could consider make, doing a couple of different things. We have taken bro broken bangle pieces finish the edges of one of the pieces, put little holes in it and make them into adjustable bracelets. You can do that. You can make them into necklaces for family members or into a link bracelet. If you really want to invest in the gold, if it's a really nice bangle, you can invest in a three, four section bracelet. Lots of options. I hope that nobody is discouraged from getting a jade bangle. They really are tough. They wear great. You can wear them every single day. You do want to be careful. It's still jewelry. You don't want to abuse it. But I hope that no one out there is afraid of getting a natural jade bangle. Really, it is much tougher if than you I'm think it is. I'm allowed to wear the jade, and I wear it. <laughs> a good example is this band ring. I wear this almost every day. I just love it. 